Hey students, uh, one of you had asked me to uh, fix this, uh, show what needs to be done in order to, to fix it up. So, and, and this one is, you know, a bit difficult, uh, but uh, let me see where I can start. Um, we are going to make some lines. So I can get my bearings straight. Okay, so that's that should be the top of that. Actually, let me uh, let me do this. Okay. So now I can use this line, and I'm going to locate. that and that okay so that's good and let me do the same going up so that's that's good and I'm going to copy okay there and there and there okay so now let's see I'm going to trim these guys Then we're going to go to ellipse. Okay. So there's the center. Yeah. And there's that. And there's that. Okay. Next, we're going to do the same thing. Let me put a line there so it's easier to find. Okay. Same deal. Center. There. And there. Now, we don't need this guy anymore. We don't need that guy. Um, we can actually get rid of those. And this right here. Now, this is where we trim. Okay, so there's that. If you want to be uh, really fancy, you can draw the hidden lines. That will be there. There will also be some there and there. Let me go ahead and put those in as well, because those are on the back end. In fact, let me let me trim that guy and then we'll do our copy so I'm gonna click there copy and then I'm just gonna choose these spots right here and there we go um, we will go to our annotate center line And there, and there, and there. Now, I'm going to click on those and correct them as far as the layer. There we go. 
Okay, so front view is taken care of. Um, let's put our center marks. Here and here. Okay, now. Next, we're going to... That looks right. That, that viewer there is right on the money. So we don't need that line anymore. However, the uh, view on this needs work. So we're going to go to uh, center, let's zoom in, center, there, and there. Now let's use our correct layer, Mr. Anderson, <laughs> and then we can delete that. Uh, then we will extend that and that. So then we can take a line that we can see <laughs> straight up. We're going to go there and there. And I should have left that circle on there because I'm going to use it again. Let me get my book open. Let's see. This was... Uh, well, one. Here we go. Okay, 0.75. So let me go here. That's what's up. Let me stop here. Because it's going to be oblong. So I needed those dimensions. Let me delete that guy. And actually, I'll leave that there. And we're going to go center. There and there. I'm gonna draw an eyeball. Okay. Enough goofing around. Now that's going to be a hidden line. And then we're going to draw hidden lines up to that. To there. to there. So, well, there is one thing we need to fix. That's this right here. Because this is going to be starting right up there. So, hold on a second. Let's go back to this. I'm going to go up to here. Oh. 
I like having spots to uh, put my center lines on, or center points for my, uh, and then that's, that's to there. Okay. So we're going to do this again. So there's our center, and there's that, and there's that. So now we're going to trim. Okay, those guys need to be trimmed back. Why are you there? Oh, your center lines. And I couldn't make out what you were. Well. Visible lines take precedence over center lines. Uh, we can put a center line here in this one. Okay. So now, and then let's get these guys taken care of. So now you're like, well, how do we do the uh, auxiliary view? I'm going to move this stuff over. Sorry it's taking so long, but... Uh, and now we're going to get out of the polar. Uh, okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to copy it directly off from it. Okay? Just offset. Now these can be spread apart a little bit further than what they are, okay? In fact, I'm going to do that right now. We're just going to move it to the right. And then we're going to move this one straight up. Okay. And they should still fit on the uh, title block, but I'm not going to go to the title block. Um, so this is going to be the total uh, length, okay, the total height. Now we're going to deal with, uh, let's see, it is two inches wide. So I'm going to just make this two. Just like that. I'm going to take a line from here. Let's see. Nope, I'm not going to do that. I am going to connect this down here. And then I'm going to draw a line. figure out what angle that is. Let's see. One thirty five. So I'm going to take go right to the street to the center of that, and I'm going to go up. Uh, let's see, I gotta hit the angle, 135, and then I hit tab, I'm gonna make that 2, and that gives me the point where the circle is. The midpoint of the, uh, yeah. Center diameter, there's the center, diameter, 0.75, and then I can do that again. 
center, radius, there's the center, and my radius is going to be one. So then we trim. And that is how you get the auxiliary view. I delete that, delete that. So now we simply dimension. Right like that. We will add a center mark right there. And we can take this. No, it's not going to let me do that. So next thing I'm going to click on, I'm going to have to do this again. So I'm going to go from the center to right there. I click there and I'm going to delete that one since it's wanting to be cantankerous. And then I'm going to move this. No. Why are you doing that? You should not be doing that. Okay. Oh, I'm going to undo that. Undo that, and I'm going to leave that just as it is. In fact, I'm going to bring that a little closer. And then I'm going to D-I-M-R-A-D, DIMRAD, Dimension Radius. And then D-I-M-D-I-A, Dimension Diameter. And right like that. Now, something I've not done, and I don't know if I can or not. Let me see if I can rotate the center line. Why, yes. Yes, I can. So there we go. And then to keep from having a little star in there, we click there, go to Annotate, we go to Dimensions, we go to Modify, and for Symbols and Arrows, see where it says Center Mark? Click None, and then OK, and Close, and there it's gone. Okay? So when you go to turn this in, I only want the Auxiliary View dimension. That goes for all of the ones that you have to do an Auxiliary View on. Okay? Let me know if you have any questions. I don't need the background because we've got, you know, we've got a good idea of what that's going to be right there, right here, and right here. Okay? So this surface, this surface right here that shows this in true form is right there. It looks like a weird little tombstone. Uh, that's all I really need. Okay? And I don't need a dimension across the bottom because the R1 tells me that that's a radius of 1, which a radius is from the center of that to the outside, instead of being a full diameter like the hole is. Okay? So let me know if you have any questions, all right? I hope this was uh, uh, informative for you guys. And uh, it's past midnight, and I'm going to go home. <laughs> I've been doing it here in the nice, quiet classroom. So uh, you guys have a good evening. Let me know if you need anything else. Bye-bye.